Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're gonna to go through your September challenge entries and pick a winner. So basically, like I've just said, we have gathered here today to pick a winner from the September challenge. Now, September challenge was water and oh my goodness, I cannot believe the amount and the quality of the entries for this monthly challenge. So absolutely well done to every single one of you who submitted an image for this challenge. I am so grateful that you did so. So uh, you might have noticed that we've changed the background for this video. We've not actually changed the background at all. We've literally just switched sides of the room because this is my winter location because there's a radiator behind me. So I need some heat in my life. And as it is now October, it's time to ramp the heating up. If you're new here, hello, I am Jess. I am a photographer person. I photograph portraits and document a fair load of stuff here on a YouTube channel. I'm also supposed to mention that we also have a premium membership and online courses and other stuff and things like that. But to be honest, I'm not here to sell anything. I'm here to help you out and pick a winner. So without further ado, let's go and have a look. So the entries that we've got are on the screen right now. We're in Lightroom classic, just like a normal. I've got up all of the eligible entries. Now, not everybody submitted an eligible entry. Some people submitted more than one image. Naughty. So I'm starting to be quite firm with this now. If you submit more than one image with the hashtag, I will be removing your photos. Please do check that you're not copying the challenge hashtag onto other images from your posts. So if you want to skip forward to next month's challenge, well, this month's challenge, then uh, you can do, I'd recommend you stick around and watch. Full disclosure, this is Instagram quality stuff. This is Instagram posts and therefore we need to be a little bit more generous in terms of things like quality and sharpness and stuff like that. So we kind of have to ignore those. We're going for a good representation of the challenge. You can be creative in your representation as well. And fun fact, I'm actually terrified of water myself. So um yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see these. Let's go ahead and start with this image. I think this is really sweet, actually. Basically, hugging those little boots. I think it's adorable. Um, I think the reflection is really sweet. I think it, it just the entire image is nicely done. So super well done. Oh, this is a complex image, I think. Um, I actually really like this. This is super creative. I'd say maybe little lobster dude down here is maybe a little bit close to the side of the shot, but I really like it and I really like how this was done. I think this is super creative. Great interpretation of the challenge. Uh, yeah, really well done. This one, we're a little bit far away from the dog here. Uh, it looks a little bit pixelated, of course, Instagram stuff aside. Um, I think the main thing for me is that you've got this reflection here, but because the dog is straight in the middle of the shot, it is not a lot of emphasis placed on that. I think that this up a bit here is not necessary. If you'd have cropped off here and made the image all about this instead of all about this, then I think it would have been slightly more successful, but great work and I like your colors. A little bit of clipping here. This is a contrasty shot, so, uh, and it's I, it's pretty much black and white. It's not black and white, but it's pretty much black and white. Um, I think you've done really well to retain your highlight detail. The, the clipping, I'm gonna let it slide on this occasion, but be careful that you're not over darkening, or over clipping your blacks, uh, it's super important. This is a sweet shot because we don't have any light in the eyes or any eye contact um, or any kind of like focus from the dog's face. Uh, it lacks a little bit of impact for me. This is super sweet. What a little old dude. Uh, oh, I love an old Labrador. Reminds me of mine. Um, I really like this. I love the, the angle of view that you've done. I think this is a sweet dog. Looks like a happy pupper in his lovely water-filled environment. Whoa, my brain had to just do a double take then of what this situation was. What a wonderful landscape. We've got elements happening all the way through. There is no boring element here. I think this is gorgeous. I think your black and white toning is fantastic. Your eye goes exactly where you wanted it to go, photographer person, and um, straight to those ships on that water. I think this is beautiful. And creative use of the concept as well, the challenge with water. But then you also have got water because clouds are water. And um, this one, focus-wise, looks like it might have been on the ears, but I can't say for sure. 
Um, I think it's sweet, just watch that your horizon line doesn't go directly through the face of the subject in a situation like this, we've gone super light, super dark, and then whoom, straight through, decapitate off the top there. That was a bit aggressive. I don't think that was necessary. Um, but similar situation here, you know, is this space here adding? Is it, if it's not adding to the image, lose it, you know, chop it off. Aggressive today. Oh, what a beautiful composition. I think the composition of this is lovely. I think this is great. A beautiful horizon line coming through here. Boom. Uh, fantastic reflection. Could we have improved this? I think the only way we could have improved this would have been positioning the 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 puppet. So he, he was she, he, he, she, he, they were um, here in this gap where the sea met the land and then having a composition that kind of invoked that, but carve it all. I think this is a really nice shot, really nicely done, uh, beautiful control, nice work. Is that a snail? I don't know what this is. What is this object? Is it a snail? I'm not sure. I think this is sweet. My eyes going up here, I feel like this is not required in the image, but also I think it's a really nice capture. I think you've edited it nicely. I think it's sweet. What a beautiful dog. This dog is absolute stunner. Jesus, beautiful. Um, I love this water up front. This is just like an actual rippling capture. Beautiful, uh, nice depth. Would have loved eye contact or at least the eyes like slightly higher up. Um, looking off that way because the dog's looking like down here and I feel like I'm, I'm left thinking, what is down there? You know, what is down there? This one looks like our focus is grabbed a little bit further backwards. The face of the dog is soft. The situation is beautiful. And I think your edit is actually really, really nice. It's just the focus looks like it was not in the correct place. Make sure obviously eyes always need to be in focus. Sharpest point of the image should be the closest eye, ideally both eyes, if we've got both eyes in the shot. If you're struggling with photographing action photographs, then go ahead and check out the resources on the YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and link one of those above right now so that you can go and delve into that topic in a bit more detail. This is sweet. Looks like we've definitely got some like blue cast coming from above. I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay for that. That's fine. My main issue with this one, guys, is that we have got um, like a little bit of a halo around the subject. I'm gonna try and get right zoomed up in there. Can you see that? There's like a like a halo around the subject. Now this bit down here, I'm kind of okay with because it could be backlit. Um, but this bit is confusing me a little bit. I wonder where is that coming from? Hmm, there's just so much to look at in this image, which is a good thing. In the landscape images, you kind of want to be led around it and definitely, definitely are led around this one. This is amazing. Um, I don't know if they're fish or leaves or what, but I think it's stunning. Beautiful long exposure work. I think if one thing would just be this highlight looks super hot. Beautiful composition. Really, really nice composition. Totally, totally different vibe, this one. And, and you know what? I really like it. I love it. I love the story of this one. It kind of like makes me think of my grandpa who passed away uh, just before lockdown started, just before coronavirus happened. Um, he used to like fishing, open water fishing. And yeah, I'm not going to get a mosh. I just really like the simplicity of this. And the composition is awesome. What a beautiful location. See, I don't have locations like this. And um, this makes me sad because I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. The green eyed monster is coming out. And funnily enough, I actually have green eyes. So maybe I'm actually just always jealous. I hope that made you laugh, Dan. <laughs> Oh, no, I think this is a gorgeous location. My eye is coming up here, but this is not really a big deal. I would have liked a little bit more under here. Just, just a little bit. I think it's sweet. I think it's a great image. I think it's a freaking amazing location. Okay, this one's a bit of a different one because we do have a silhouette in place. So let's turn off our clipping there. Yes, I'm a little bit concerned about those highlights. I don't think all of that will need to have been at that level of brightness. 
Um, I like the situation, the story. I think you've done a creative shot here. Um, and do you know what? I want you to go and do it again. I want you to go do this shot again. I want the silhouette again. I want the goal and now coming in the back there again. But what I want you to do is underexpose the original shot slightly to retain your highlight detail in the sky. If you do that, you'll still have your rim around the subject, but there'll be a natural silhouette happen and it'll be a mega. So please go do that again. This is sweet. Just be careful when you're working at your shots that you're not adding a negative vignette. A negative vignette is actually a positive vignette. Positive vignette is a white vignette versus a black vignette. A white, black white, black, okay? So it looks like we've got a white vignette applied to this one. And what that does basically is it goes over the edges of the subject and we lose the clarity on the separation from the background. So it is important, just look after it a little bit. Um, there's nothing wrong with gray, okay? Don't panic about gray, gray's fine. Interesting interpretation. I like actually the trippy slow mo -ness that is happening here. I kind of like this, I'm here for it. And I think the composition is, is really good. Interesting. I like interesting. This is sweet. We are definitely kind of like up here though, and I feel like we 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 needed to be like here. So like not necessarily angle down, but we come down so that we've got more of like the underneathy bit here. This is important. Nice composition though, I like it. I just think we could have done with less here and a little bit more down here, and that would have been super perfect. This is sweet, just careful that we're not too close on the sides of the crop there. Give the subject some space to breathe. I would have liked you slightly lower down and just be careful of those highlights in strong bright light because it's looking a little bit hot. But good white balance, good color, good capture of the action. Like just maybe a little bit more compositional bits to look at there rather than anything else. Got some clip blacks over in the back there, but it's kind of okay because this is a super contrasty shot. Uh, my eyes drawn to this super bright area here, not going to lie, would be useful to just have in a little bit of an exposure control happening from that side. And you see how now your eyes going here straight away. Can, can you see that? So like before, after, before, after. This is gorgeous. Oh, I kind of want this on my wall. Fantastic capture, great level of focus. Depth of field is just right for this shot. Really just, just right. Any more would lack the impact. Any less, we wouldn't have enough in. Uh, really nice. This one looks like, I don't know, I feel in green. We're, I feel like we're very, very green. And I want to just check our uh, white balance situation. It is looking green. There is a lot of green. I feel like a magenta shift and, and maybe a little bit more contrast and a little bit of pump in the in the highlights there, a little bit of a dip in the blacks would have given us a little bit more of a punchier shot, but I'm not here to be changing stuff. Um, good capture. I'd like to see more of your watery work. Uh, just watch your highlights. I can tell you've toned them. This is good. Uh, just watch your color tone. Oh, look, he's happy with his dummy. Oh, this is cute. And I love the reflection, the color that's popped into the reflection. I kind of like it. I'm here for it. I think it's good. I love the capture here. Maybe a little bit too much space around the edge. I don't feel like it's adding to the story, but that's just me. Um, nice expression. It is a nice expression. I feel like the focus is slightly backwards, though. I feel like this area is sharper than this area, which would be the eye area. So just watch your focus. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so this is a super dramatic shot. Love it. Love the aperture that you've chosen for this. If you have blurred the background afterwards, you've done a really good job of it, actually. It's nice and subtle. Um, I question whether we've got some sensor spots happening. Looks like there's a spot here, a spot here, a spot here. Just check to see if you've got sensor spots because these little spots are in strange locations uh, for the situation. It could be that you had some water on the lens. Um, but yeah, those ones, that one, that one, that one, and that one do look a bit like sensor spots. We'll have a video about that coming along next week. And um, also just watch your haloing. So we've got a little bit of a halo happening around the subject. Do you see how there's like a light edge and then dark? Just blend your masks in a little bit firmer um, or blend your brush adjustments in a little bit firmer. Um, and that would elevate this image to be pretty damn perfect. This is sweet, water one. I feel like it could have been a little bit more contrasty. Um, and I also feel like we're leaning to the left. I don't know if we are leaning to the left, but I feel like we're leaning to the left because of the water line 
there. Because that, I feel, should be straight. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. This is sweet. I think I think the vignette down the bottom, it, or the vignette in general, I think is a little bit too heavy. I think it's a bit too heavy. Um, and also, it, we've got a switch in focal plane, which I'm not 100% on. So we've got sharp, 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 and then not sharp. And then the same at the other side. So I'm not sure really what happened there, but but um, yeah, just a few little bits to focus on. The actual capture itself is really sweet and I love the atmosphere at the top here. I think that's amazing. Happy dog playing in water, super sweet, nice capture, good compositional elements in the natural environment. So well done to you. The greens may be a little bit overpowering. This is this area here is so bright, it kind of takes away the rest of the shot and also compositionally, I would really have liked a little bit space to that side. However, that being said, I think it's a really nice location and I would love to see more that you could do in this situation with this dog. So please go and reshoot and show me what you get. Light's a little bit too harsh in this one and the harness and the collar are a bit too distracting. This is a tough situation to photograph in, um, especially with a black dog. It's, it's, yeah, you've not, you've not kind of backed yourself and given yourself an easy situation to create a shot from. If you want to shoot in harsh light, then that is fine. You just want to make sure that the light is kind of helping you out to define the subject. Um, whereas at the moment, there's just Quite a lot going on, that's all. This is super impactful, I love this. I think there's so much impact happening in this shot and um, I love the reflection as well. I think this is super sweet, very atmospheric. This is a really, really nice image, really nice image. Uh, compositionally, it's very strong. I think it's sweet. The waterfall behind, it's just this one strip really distracting for me. I like the colors in it as well. There's kind of a lot going on, but it, it's still, it still tells a story. This is really nice. I actually really like the toning on this one. It's super sweet. You've got all of the reflection in. The intensity in the dog's face is, is pretty solid. I wonder whether you could have cropped in a bit tighter to not have the tail cut off. Well, that's epic. Now, I have seen this image before, so it probably would have had more impact the first time really impactful watch your horizon line just intersecting the dog's neck there but really i don't feel like this image is about that it's about that i think that's that's beautiful reflection um, and then just watch you've got a light strip up at the top here again i'm being picky patricia right now wow that now that had impact for me again where are you guys finding these amazing locations Space above though, I question it again. Do you guys not think that that, I don't know, maybe maybe it's just me, but I think that that, that has slightly more impact. Again though, there is nothing wrong with this. This is an awesome shot. It would have liked a little bit more light in the face, but also I get the contrast and I get the mood and I like it. I think it's sweet. The reflection is gorgeous. Uh, super good job. Like a really, really, really good job. A great capture. You should be proud of that shot. Okay, I'm a little bit creeped out, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I'm also scared of spiders. Uh, spiders and water. So this is a great, great one for me. Uh, fantastic capture. Uh, th there is nothing short of, of great that we can say about this image, you know? I think it's a really, really good capture. Very interesting, very visually interesting because it's kind of like a bit of camouflage, a bit of an optical illusion, a bit of everything happening and I think you've done a really, really good job. I don't really know what it is, but whatever it is, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, that felt like the weirdest thing for me to say, but I, this is, I just really like this. This is amazing. I love the different textures and the softness and the blend going through and just, uh, yeah, I just really like it. I don't know why I'm surprised by it, but cause, I think it's because I, I don't really know what it is, but I really like it nonetheless. Fantastic capture. Beautiful, beautiful work. Gorgeous, freaking gorgeous. Um, beautiful expression in the subjects. And you know what, I love the tongue. The, t the tongue just seals the deal on this one. Nice swan shot, nice composition, good pose from the subject, because obviously it was trained to do that. Really nice. Uh, beautiful waterfall shot. Um, and I, I, re I like the central composition of this one actually. I think this is really nice. I like being drawn around a landscape shot and I feel like I am still being drawn around. Like we've got this 
square man-made kind of structure looking thing here and then the supernatural side we've got the mosses the ferns happening there's a tree here coming through we've got little outlets of water down side by side and then we start coming down this cascade i think it's really nice beautiful location this waterfall shot epic waterfall but the shot lacks impact right do you see the difference between this one and this one um, the photographer of this one did a great job finding that waterfall. I think it's a beautiful find. I just think maybe a little bit more experimentation on the angle of shot, really integrating the depth and the complexity of it would have been cool. <laughs> I had to laugh. So we got it got impact because I laughed at it. <laughs> so that's good. I like the composition of it as well, you know, I think the composition of it's sweet. Great focus on a shaking shot, great focus. Another reflection one nice capture i do like it i wish the trees weren't right behind the subject though that's the only thing for me great capture i'm unsure on focus i think the dog's uh the this side of the dog's face is soft and the far side is sharp just going off of the areas on the dog that look like they're in sharp focus uh, but great capture and i think it's something that you definitely should pursue because you've got a super talent for timing so great great timing you can't really teach that so fantastic work on that um, and, and i'd like to see more of your disc photos i feel like this woman just got a bit wet <laughs> and that little dog just being like oi wait oi give me snacks uh yeah I think this is an emotional capture. I think it's a nice picture. Super sweet, this one. Just watch you not lifting your blacks too much. It's a fine line. I know it's a fine line. Uh, a little bit of a halo happening as well, but not, not really too much of an issue. Just horizon line through the head again. Just watch it. Just, just watch how that's working. But nice capture. And God, if I put my, one of my dogs on something like that, they would be like, get me off now. This is super sweet. I think this is quite low resolution, but I really like the composition of this one. Um, the reflection's perfect. I would argue, do you need so much space above and to the left? But um, at the same time, I, I respect your decision for that because I think there is detail in the clouds um, and there is some symmetry in the gaps to the side, kind of. So I, I, I get it. I think it's a nice image. This is a super pano, nice bang straight horizon, which is what I like to see. Dog emerging from the waves. I think it's a nice capture. The intensity of this one is gorgeous. Water is brought in with the dew on the plant. I think this is sweet. I think the focus is great. The depth is lovely. Uh, and I really like the color toning you've gone for in this one. Just need a little bit more space below on this one. Uh, a little bit more space below but i mean everything else is gorgeous that's beautiful photograph absolutely fantastic nice central composition got enough space on all those sides reflections gorgeous depth is perfect angle of shots fab awesome shaking shot brilliant uh, angle of view super immersive the trail that we've got from there uh, from the water is fantastic and the focus is on the eye Awesome work. This is sweet. Just watch when you're doing your edits that you're color toning. Um, so you've got like the dogs here, but this is like frosty blue down the edges. Just make sure that you kind of have a little bit of a blend from subject down to make sure that the two kind of mirror each other a little bit more, but super sweet posing. Great dogs, good models. Oh, this is a really sweet owner and dog photo. Great positioning of them within the scene so that we can actually see them. Amazing sky. I would ask, do we need so much space to the left? But also, I get that you're finishing off the line of view up that left side. So it's okay, I'm okay with it. Beautiful moment capture, I think it's sweet. I would, I'd like to see more from the series. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous shot. Really, really nice. I'm like wondering whether the reflection's natural or not, but the fact that I'm questioning it, I don't know. I Because I don't know, I can't pass judgment on that. I think it's a really nice shot. I, I really like the tones as well. It's like vibrant and vivid. Whoa, that had impact. Boom, straight in your face. Awesome capture, fantastic. Just watch your toning. So we've got some like normal color and then we've got a blue color. So we've got a lot of blue happening on the dog when really the dog needed to be not so blue. And then the background can be like, bam, blue. So just, just watch that on your, on your editing there. Uh, fantastic capture. I really like the composition of this one. It's not center, but it's also not thirds. It's kind of like golden rule style. Nice stack shot. Uh, stack shot's different to portraits, but the stack shot itself is fine. Um, 
for a portrait we would want a little bit more compositional space to the left a little bit more of the environment but yeah perfectly fine for, for a snapshot i really love that we can see the dude's paw like the paw is here and, and I really like that. I think the composition actually is really good. I would have loved a little bit more work to have happened in the face and the eyes. I think it would have been a different image had this area just been creatively edited just a little bit more, just a little bit more kind of like impact put into this area here. Uh, I think I think this is a great image. I'd love to edit this. Oh, it's a happy dog. Uh, this is sweet. I feel like the eyes aren't in focus on the nose is, which is, you know, fatal error in terms of me. I'm like, I'm super hard line on that. There is no moving me on that. But what a happy dog. I love this. Wow. I don't know why I can't put my finger on it, but I freaking love this. This is gorgeous. We don't have light in the eyes, but I don't care. Oh, atmospheric. The colours, the toning, the contrast, the richness, the activity that's happening, the intensity, the composition. Oh, it's gorgeous. This is simple. Simple, but effective. Beautiful atmosphere. Again, similar. Light and atmosphere. Light and atmosphere. Bam. Love it. This is lovely. I love the scene. I feel like I needed you to be lower down. But super creative if that dog stood there whilst that was happening, because that is a long exposure there. Not super long, but long enough. So if you've caught this all in one frame, then absolutely hats off to you. Really good effort. Really good. Okay, so this is... Uh, the, I've just seen the butterfly to the left. I'd have loved that rock to be in it a bit more. And maybe a little bit less of the dog if we were going to get a little bit more or just like a little bit more of both sides. This is sweet because this is like street. It's like street photography, like documentary style almost. I don't know really what's happening here, but I don't mind because I'm kind of looking around, getting a bit of interest in the, in the piece. The gazebo is okay. I wish this, this water bit, we had the tops in. Oh my gosh, we're at the beginning. Holy moly. That means that it's time to shortlist. Oh, let me try and get through this. This is going to take me some time. Um, my shortlist is long. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to be brutal. I don't like being brutal. Okay, so this is my short, short list. And now I have to pick. There's one part of this whole job that I do that I dislike. It's this bit. This bit is the part that I dislike. Because I would give everything here a gold. But I can't. Instead of picking what I don't want in, I'm going to pick what I can't possibly lose. That highlight on that one. I'm gonna keep it. The blacks might take it. Oh, sensor spot. I think it's sweet, but I don't know if I'm just emotionally tied to it because of my Labradors. Right, come on. The spider, I appreciate its goodness. I love the action shot. I love that moment. God, you guys. That is so compositionally perfect. I would love to edit that as well, to be honest. That is beautiful this is stunning this is stunning this they're, they're all stunning there can only be one winner there's a few images that just made me go wow when i saw it and this is one of them this i just think is absolutely gorgeous and i don't even know why it's not abstract but it, i just really like it this is also gorgeous i just love the feel of this the whole vibe is lovely and this is all this just keeps pulling me back I don't know why. You're going to have to pick. And whatever you pick, someone's not going to like, and it's okay. We've done this for a long time now. Right, well, you know, it's my opinion, and therefore, sorry if you don't agree with me on this month, but I'd love to hear your thoughts down below about one, the ones I'm going to pick. I'm going to go for gold. I'm going to go for silver. And I'm going to go for bronze. But really, all of these could be gold. Um... Amazing, 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 amazing work. So five, five, five. Let's just look at our rated. 
gold, silver, and bronze. Let's see who these are from. There we go, guys. Gold, silver, bronze, all the way across there. Absolutely fantastic. Go ahead and give these guys some love because I really think that A, they did great for entering B. They did great for getting a pin, which if you've won one and you would like to have it to overlay onto your image, then please do just drop us an email. Information for that will be in the blog post below. This month was probably one of the hardest months for me to judge. I think this has been tough. Um, I think you all did amazing. But yeah, if you ended up in any of my shortlists, then Jesus Christ, you deserve a medal. Absolutely fantastic. Let's look at October's challenge. October's challenge for you guys, if you choose to accept it, is connection. So October's challenge is all about connection. That can be connection between a subject and an object or between two subjects if they're both in the same image. So I wanted to really think quite deep about this. Look back through maybe your images from the last year, especially through difficult times that we've maybe had and gone through as a community and as a society and see if you can find any images that you think portray connection uh, in, in any way, shape or form. So it could be a physical connection or it could be an emotional connection. It could just be kind of two things that are together. It doesn't really matter. But that is October's challenge for you. So I'm really, really, really keen to see what you guys come up with. All of the entry instructions will be linked in the blog post. That is in the description below. May the odds be ever in your favor and I'll see you all again really, really soon.